Hi guys, I'm here today to walk you through Cadena's COVID-19 test tracking platform. The aim of the platform is to facilitate uh, both test manufacturers and clinicians and um, any entities involved uh, with COVID-19 test tracking to f facilitate um, tracking the validity of a test, i.e. if it's a real test issued by a known manufacturer, and also um, to leverage blockchain technology to have anonymized records that are publicly available um, for test results um, that are given by these test kits. Um, so the first step um, in using our platform is for um, a test manufacturer or test distributor or pharmacy um, who uh, uh, can sign for the validity of uh, the tests that they're about to distribute um, to generate a bunch of QR codes that will be registered on Cadena's mainnet blockchain. Um, and these QR codes um, have uh, a reason to exist, which is what I mentioned above, which ensures that these tests can only be used once um, and are traceable back to their original manufacturers or printers of the QR codes. Um, and additionally to that, as I mentioned, uh, these QR codes are used to uh, track the, the validity of these tests on the blockchain. Um, so the first step to do this is uh, a manufacturer or uh, distributor or pharmacy would um, go to this website here, covid19 dashboard.chainweb.com, and just simply fill out this form. So let's say we are ACME. Uh, the model name for the test we're about to distribute is um, COVID-19-001. And here um, we register the amount of test labels that we want to print, i.e. the QR codes that I just mentioned. Um, in this case, we'll go with uh, 50 tests to register. Um, and in order to be a registered manufacturer or distributor or whichever entity that's going to uh, print these QR codes, usually um, you would have to register it with us or an entity above you in order to be given a key pair that allows you to print these QR codes. Um, for the sake of testing and to make the demo easy for anyone to walk through, we have provided a dummy key pair um, that has permissions to sign everything. And you can just press this use testnet key pair and then go ahead and sign and generate the QR codes. So what's happen happening here under the hood is these QR codes that you're generating um, are getting registered on Cadena mainnet um, with the identification of this public key that I put up here. As I mentioned, it ha they have to be pre-authorized to print these labels. Um, one nice feature of all of this is that these tests get uh, printed and registered, sorry, get registered on the Cadena blockchain in a scalable manner, and it leverages Cadena's uh, multi-chain architecture. Right now we're at 10 chains, so under the hood, um, these 50 labels are all getting spread over the 10 chains, so each chain should be registering about five chains each. Um, one of the nice things about this is that given this multi-chain architecture, uh, we can print up to about 50,000 tests uh, in one block height. Um, and as you saw there, the transaction successfully went through, which means all your tests were registered. And it handily um, puts all the QR codes in a folder. It zips it um, and downloads it on your device. Um, Let's just see the content of the zip, which is, as you can see, the QRs of the manufacturer that we put in with today's date. And if you open it up, you'll see that there are all 50 QR codes that uh, we asked for the program to make. Um, so the next step of our platform is, uh, let's imagine that this happened, as I mentioned, uh, at a distributor's or manufacturer's uh, headquarters or in a pharmacy. Uh, and then the next step um, to the ecosystem would be for a clinician to actually administer 
this test to a patient. So this QR code that I'm about to open uh, would belong on the test kit itself. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through the process as if this QR code was placed on a test. Um, so I'm just gonna take a picture of it on my phone and then use my phone and simulate it to be uh, the equivalent of a test kit. So then um, all the clinician has to do is uh, go to our website, covid19-test.chainweb.com. Um, and I already have, and this and mobile website. Um, I'd like to go with the mobile view to emphasize um, how easy uh, this actually is to use from any type of device, um, whether it's a not so smart smartphone or a computer or any type of device that has a camera. Uh, that's all you need to scan the QR code and to effectively use the Cadena blockchain. So, um, as mentioned, you're a doctor or a clinician in a clinic or somewhere where you can administer tests, and then you select that you are a clinician, and you go here, and all you have to do is scan this test label uh, QR code that, as we mentioned, would be on a test, and here, what it shows you is the public key of the test, uh, the manufacturer name, uh, that we entered previously in a dashboard, as you saw, and the model name of the test. Um, so then you just simply fill out this form, um, test name, test her name, let's say he lives in Brooklyn somewhere. Um, sorry, that's just my autofill there. Let's just click around the country. Uh, and birthday, and here you can put your patient ID. And one thing, uh, sorry, this is your patient identification number, and what I mean by this is any type of government identification number or anything along those lines, depending on what country you may be in, your age group, um, and your gender. So, uh, and then what happens is once the doctor actually administers the test to the person, he fills out this form after having scanned the QR code and presses administer test. And what's fancy about this whole blockchain architecture is that all of this information, sensitive information that you see here, that gets does not get posted in plain text on the blockchain. So all the results are tracked in an anonymous way. All that gets posted is this demographic information, which is your gender, your age group, um, your country and your zip code, uh, which is all HIPAA compliant uh, data to have there on a public blockchain. And the nice feature of our QR codes, uh, which is actually the core of this application, is the QR codes sign for themselves, uh, which we think is something brand new in the space. So the QR codes that are generated in the dashboard actually contain a public and private key pair. Um, so when the doctor goes to uh, administer this test, uh, the test is actually signing its own transaction. Uh, and that's all made, and you may be asking, you know, uh, okay, I get that something can have a public and private key pair to sign a transaction, but who's paying for the gets? Did you pre-fund these QR codes with a tiny bit of money to pay for the gas? No, actually what's happening here, and what I think is one of the killer features of Cadena's uh, chain web, is that um, we can provide gas stations. Um, and all gas stations mean is that it's a separate smart contract deployed um, on mainnet that allows for um, calls from a particular contract that you specify in that gas station and it will pay for his gas. So as an end user on the UX side, um, you don't actually even know you're interacting with a blockchain because all of this is safely using a gas station that pays for the gas, provided that the user uh, calls the function, calls a function in a specific contract um, that you uh, restrict within the gas station itself. Um, so we have some uh, literature out there on how gas station works and how we think it's the future of blockchain and how it's just a killer UX feature. Um, for all of that, you can uh, look at our website, GitHub and Medium. Um, 
I'm sorry, I'll just dive right back into the demo now. So here we can see that the test was successfully administered. Uh, as you saw, it only took a few seconds for the transaction to go through. We are a proof of work blockchain, so the blocks do need to be mined. Um, and so what, what you get here um, is essentially a receipt that the test was administered to you. Um, and as a patient, to then keep track of your test results, um, all you have to do is um, log into the, uh, just go to the same website that the doctor went to um, and just click on the patient page. As I will show you here, you click on the patient page um, and then you go ahead and say you scan a new test where you scan the receipt that you just saw on the past page, which I handily just took a picture of on my phone. And here you can see this test was a test that I'd done before. Um, and here's a test uh, that we just walked through earlier. Uh, as you saw, it was a brand called Acme. Uh, the, the, the name of, of the test was COVID-19-001. It, it was administered today. Um, and you can see the status of the test here is administered. Um, and all of this data is coming directly from Cadena mainnet. Um, and it's just sitting here listening to when the test result comes in, like the above one that says that the test result was negative. So then um, several minutes uh, or hours or days later, depending on uh, how the actual uh, COVID-19 test is, uh, is given to the patient, um, the clinician will then go back and scan the test for a second time in order to record its result. Um, and this is just general normal UX for how um, coronavirus tests are administered. Um, I'm sorry here, I just scanned the wrong QR code. Um, so let me scan again the QR code from the dashboard that we created earlier in which we administered the test. Um, so here we go. And here it just confirms what the test public key here is. And let's say that the result of the test this time was positive instead. Then we'll go ahead and post the test result. And once again, as I mentioned earlier, this QR code uh, that is generated from the dashboard has its own uh, public and private key pair, and it's signing its own transaction using a gas station to pay for the gas for doing this. So it's no different from using any regular website or app out there. And additionally, uh, one nice thing that is going on under hood, which I mentioned while we were walking through the dashboard, is that uh, it's a, it uses Cadena's multi-chain architecture. So um, the, the test is smart enough to know which chain it should be writing and reading data from. Um, uh, okay, so here the transaction went through. We ended the test successfully. Um, and as I mentioned, we did a result of positive. So then let's go back to our patient view where we were seeing our tests and then we will hit refresh and boom, you get the result of your test, uh, which in this case was positive and all of this data is coming straight from Cadena mainnet. And if you don't believe that, we also have um, a block explorer link that shows the actual test going through, so you can actually go through uh, more blockchain-y database stuff and verify that this data is coming straight from there. Um, but we really do hope that the system that we have thought of um, does get some traction out there. And please do feel free to reach out with any questions to us. Um, and thank you very much.